can't win them all. Can't win them all. Uh, the Saw Dogs had the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth. Down one run. And Eduardo Acosta was up to bat, who had a pregame interview talking about how he's one of the best hitters on the team. He was two for four when he came to the plate. And uh, took two balls. And on a 2-0 and pitch, he saw a pitch I guess he liked. And he flew out to right field. Game over. Twins win. 6-5 to five over the Sod Dogs. And I'm thinking about making a phone call. Maybe it'll take a couple of phone calls to somebody doing the scorekeeping because it was atrocious last night. My God, hits went off and on the scoreboard and the errors and uh, both teams had hits added and subtracted at certain points and then uh, some, some probably like the old Hefe shows up in the in the the seventh inning stretch and was like, all right, what do you got going on here? This is the scorecard. This is what it needs to be. This is what it needs to be, kid. And uh, they fixed it. They fixed it. But there was one. Uh, they, they they didn't mark an error on the saw dog, even though I have an error for the saw dog. They took the hit off. And didn't give an error. So I don't know. That's kind of magical. Whatever though, you know. It's a, uh, it's collegiate league. It's, it's pretty low level. I need to lower my expectations for such things. And nobody even cares about that. I'm lit I'm the only person that cares. So, let's just drop it. <sighs> uh, also, it was 105 at first pitch yesterday. My God. Thirsty Thursday. Yeah. You get some colorful characters coming in on Thirsty Thursdays. All right, so what do we have here? We did Beach Cliff yesterday. Let's do Beach Cliff again. Today we got just fish steaks, bite-sized herring, and soybean oil. Again, this is a product of Canada. Um, they've got an address <laughs> for nutritional facts right to the above address. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll write him a letter and ask. <laughs> uh, yeah, no nutritional facts. This one ought to be nice and short. And... All right. Good presentation again. Man, that is fishy. All right. Where are those napkins? I had a pile of napkins around here. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to the napkins. So, you know, we're just going to have to be careful. I don't have any napkins around here. All right. We really don't have any napkins. All right. Well, that's what got invented newspapers. I don't really need this back part of it. So let's just do that. And I really need to find a fork. This is getting gross. Alright. Soybean oil, huh? Bone. I gotta say, the soybean oil has little to no flavor at all. It's just basically like eating slimy fish. Bone. I don't think that's supposed to fall apart like that. I don't think that's what the uh, the connoisseurs are into.
I'm just gonna eat this. There's a lot of bones in this one. Just a lot of bones. You gotta watch yourself on this can too. It's pretty. It's uh, pretty sharp. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it's my attitude this morning after a loss that I felt like, you know, I really wanted that. I'm supposed to be impartial, but uh, you can't just load the bases in the bottom of the ninth and then fly out, Ugh. you know? Take another pitch. It's 2-0. Take another pitch, Acosta. Ugh. Two and 2-0 is like, okay, I'm going to take the... No. I don't know. People swing on 2-0 and all the time. He, he thought he saw a pitch he liked. Thought he saw a pitch he liked. I'm going to drink the soybean oil. I don't know if that's recommended or not. Best part so far. Five. Five out of ten. Didn't, wasn't crazy about it. Once again, beach cliff, fish steaks, and soybean oil. Eh...